This is a certified charge complete tutorial how to get the best quality from your HD PVR. This is episode 1, installation and your recording settings. Enjoy this. What's up guys, this is Charge. Today I have a little video that I promised you. This is uh, the first video, um, how to get the best quality from your HD PVR. And we're going to start with installing the HD PVR. Alright, so basically... In this first episode, I'm going to tell you about all of these cables in the back here, uh, where they connect, and uh, I'm going to tell you about the HDTV, about your settings on Xbox, and about the HDTV connector for the component cables in the back of the Xbox. Alright. Let's start out right here with the back of the HD PVR. As you can see, I have a ton of cables connected back here. I'm going to go through each one of these, starting with this one all the way over here. This small cable is the power cable that plugs right there into the outlet. This next cable right here is a USB cable that you will connect to your laptop or desktop computer. It has this little USB cord that comes out. Uh, that's how you record to your computer. And then these cables, these top ones right here, will all be plugged in. They come with your HD PVR. They plug in to the top row. They go in order of red and white audio, and then uh, green, blue, and red video cables. Those will plug right in here, and then you will put them in the same order over in your, or I guess it's a backwards order, over in your HD TV. These should be color-coded, so you will know where to put them. And then the cables on the bottom are the component cables from the Xbox. On your component cable, you should have a splitter. It goes off. On the right, there should be three cables. A yellow, a red, and a white. You plug the red and the white in there, and then the yellow you just let hang to the side. And then on this side, you have three other ones, and they are green, blue, and red. And you plug those right in on the bottom here where these green, blue, and red are. So basically, you have the audios over here and the th videos over here. As you can see, my Turtle Beach uh, audio connectors are right there, right before it's plugged into the HD PVR. That won't affect your quality at all. So that's all good. All right, next we're going to move on to the Xbox. All right, as you can see, my Xbox right here. In the back, I have a few cables plugged in. Uh, one of these cables is for the power block, which then connects to my outlet over there. And my other cable is my component cable. Uh, on the side, you can see it says HDTV and then TV. You want this switch to HDTV. After you have all the cables plugged in, the next thing you want to do is make sure you have the right settings on your HDTV. So right now, um, you watch me, uh, I'm just showing the screen capture of my TV. Uh, you're going to press the middle button on your controller, go over to settings, and then system settings. Uh, on system settings, you'll see console settings. And the display is what you're going to want to change. HDTV ch settings. And um, you are going to be on one of these already and you want to be on 720p uh, you might think oh but I want to play on 1080p or I want to play on 1080i because you can't play on 1080p with component cables 1080i you can play on but it's going to be laggy and you're just not going to get the best quality the best quality you can get is from 720p so click that um, click that you like it whatever and uh, uh, the next thing we'll talk about is the computer interface now after I've showed you how to do everything on your Xbox your HD PVR and your HD TV uh, you're gonna go to your computer and this is what's gonna show up on your computer you have the ArcSoft capture module everything you need to capture your video and these are the settings you wanna have over here, your source wants to be the Hopog HD PVR, obviously. Uh, video input, do YPRPB. And your audio input is going to be the RCA back. And your PC audio mode is going to be two channel stereo. Then click here to device settings. You can change these to whatever you want. I have them on, I think it's just the regular one you get. I might have changed the brightness a little bit to be a little brighter like my gameplay a little bit brighter you can change these to whatever you want I think they're fine right in the middle tell you the truth um, I don't think you need to do anything in video decoder if you don't have NTSC uh, change it to that 
but it should be there. All right, and now go to format settings. In format settings, you're gonna want your bit rate at 13.5. That is the best bit rate. 13.5, uh, constant bit rate. Definitely want it constant. It's gonna already show off 1280 by 720p because that's what your TV is. And these should all be whatever. Uh, okay. And now down here it should show the resolution as 1280 by 720. Your bit rate at 13.5. Make sure that bit rate is 13.5 because that's gonna come into play in later episodes. And your audio is gonna be the two channel Dolby Digital audio that I had you choose before. And down here on the bottom, um, it says enable preview on recording and hardware acceleration. You're going to want to uncheck hardware acceleration uh, and you're going to want to be on PlayStation 3. You should already be on PlayStation 3. Even if you're playing on Xbox, which I play on Xbox, obviously by the screen that I'm showing you right now, but you're going to want to be on PlayStation 3 because that's where these settings come from. Alright, and you can choose your folder you want it to send uh, save to. Uh, your save format is going to be M2TS. That's the best format to have. Alright, and I think that's the end of this episode. So uh, stay tuned for the next episodes. Uh, They're going to involve Sony Vegas Pro and getting the best quality uh, in both render settings and project settings. So I'll see you guys later. Subscribe.